Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel, C Chronicles here. Now, if you're joining me here for the very first time, guys, I post fragrance related content weekly and I do try to post consistently. So all I'm requesting for you guys is to kindly consider subscribing. And to those who are returning, thank you so much, guys, for the continued support. Today, what we're doing is I'm going to show you my perfume collection in its entirety. I'm going to pour me some sparkling wine and then we're going to turn the camera around and then we're going to get into it, guys. It's quite a lot, but I'm going to try and make sure that the video doesn't take an eternity. So let's go to the collection. So guys, here we are. I'm going to try not to get into detail, like, you know, the notes and stuff. If I do, it's just going to be brief. So at the back here, we have my Elizabeth Taylors, right? Um, I don't have steppers, guys, because I know on Amazon, you can actually get fragrance uh, steppers or display whatever. Those acrylic ones. I don't actually have those, guys, because I didn't know how many I would need. So what I do is I use my uh, perfume bo bo boxes like this to display my fragrances. So this is the Elizabeth Taylors that I have. This is off the uh, White Diamond range, Night uh some of them i'm gonna see i think that one is sapphire diamond and rubies and uh, we've got more here there is a bit taylor's i'm trying to get the whole range so that i bring them to you guys this is passion this one is passion and then this one is uh forever i absolutely love this one guys let me just put it back and then i skipped the zara's right so just after the elizabeth taylor's we've got the zara's this is my tuberose just hope I don't break anything. This is Rich Woman Addictive. This one is, well, let's do it this way. Okay, right. Okay, so this one is, this one is Golden Decade. Okay, and then that is Red Temptation. And then we have this section. This is Cherry Smoothie, Tropical Boost, uh, Frosted Cream. I love Frosted Cream, guys. You can see. You can tell by the dent there that I do actually love that. And then Fields at Nightfall. This is quite strong. That's why I don't use it that much. But I do like it. And uh, yeah. And then over to this section. These are my Swiss Arabians. Okay, that is Walla. And then that is um, Rose 01. Cas uh, Casablanca and uh, Valencia. Okay. And then this one is a Swiss Arabian. Uh, Ishk, thank you. I have Jemima on the other side of the camera and she's so helpful. Okay, then we're back to the Zara's. These are the two Wonder Roses. Okay, I use these ones as body mists, right? I use these ones as body mists, as you can see, there's a dent in both, but they actually smell the same. These ones now, this is a um, fragrance by Summer Rose. Okay, she is a social media sensation. She is a Zimbabwean and this is her fragrance. What I do with my fragrances is when they hit a certain mark, I just don't use them. Okay, so that I have whatever is left of them as like a reference point. So if you look at the this cap, it's it's um, worn out. I don't know. It's, it's overused. You can see that it's discolored. Uh, it doesn't actually match the bottle. That is because I've had this fragrance for a very long time so shout out to summer rose and then i've got uh this one this is swiss arabian shakhaf for her this one doesn't have oud guys if you're not into oud don't run away from this one this one's a very nice summer fragrance uh very fresh leaning there a bit of some apple then we have the popular shakhaf oud there guys the only thing i have a problem with this bottle is the fingerprints it's a fingerprint magnet more swiss arabian here this is jamila and this is uh amali okay and then we have the kialis let me take this one out so that it just completes the set i have other 10 mls they just don't come in these little in these like uh miniature bottles Let's see oh my god what have i started here oh god I don't want to break a nail, you know. Okay, I want to make sure that the 
the little minis there are complete right so that makes the last uh Kiali mini right there so these are my Kiali's guys vanilla 28 popular for a reason as you know and this is not a Nikea what 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 this is just um wood that we put together I actually DIY'd my closet I'm going to show you a video of that in due course where I actually put the closet together so if things are looking roughed up and everything it's because I did them myself it's not uh like I hired a professional to do this for me anyway this is uh the vanilla 28 utopia vanilla cocoa love first and more utopia another utopia here um this one is eden juicy apple and then yum pistachio okay and then we have just a random uh bottle of uh this one here i don't know cashmere okay cashmere jade goodish this is my third bottle and then in this little container here guys we have more zara's i've actually stopped buying this uh style of uh, mi uh minis or testers or whatever it is they are big enough for you to test the fragrance but they break easily so these are all zara's guys flow the ranger uh Sanre, that sort of thing and i just keep them in this tot glass shelf number two is here for aesthetic purposes if you missed it i did say that i'm gonna bring my non-middle eastern collection of fragrances in a separate video maybe in a couple of months uh, so these are not middle eastern the fragrances that you see here we have ch good girl she's got the little baby there with her uh we have um Billie eilish eilish pepper jeans 212 vip little minis there that is my Versace mini uh, the C minis I've got the Fiori I've got the Passione I've got the C and the EDT of the C and then we have uh, Mugla this is the uh, angel and then this is the original angel right there uh, this one I haven't quite used this one a lot guys because I just I don't know for some reason when I did wear it it was just too strong and i just didn't wear it after and then we've got this this is aura um and then we've got the versace here this is a crystal noir this is the dylan blue uh, my alien sinorina mysteriosa fenty by rihanna this is a must have guys this completes a collection i mean if you're one of those people that were looking to start a fragrance collection and you just wanted one fragrance that's gonna do it for you occasion wise everything wise i completely and without a doubt would recommend that you purchase fenty guys this is one of the best fragrances i've ever smelled to my nose to date and then we have um kelvin klein beauty and then we have esther lauder that is youth jew right there and then we have my one and only ted baker okay this one is mia and then we have uh what's his name adam okay. levine Adam Levine, not Avril Levine, but thank you for trying, darling. <laughs> okay, so we have Adam Levine here, uh, and this one's called uh, Adam Levine. And then we have Katy Perry, okay? So there's no rhyme or reason as to how I organize them, guys. It's everything mixed together. And then we have Pink Sugar. I love Pink Sugar. And then in that back row there, we have Gucci Guilty Absolute Poor Farm. And then we have Goldier, uh, the Roman Knight uh right there and halligan's the duchess rose and then we have uh lavia bell hypnotic poison in a mini and then we have these three yes i am's by Cacharel. this is yes i am pink i think and then this is yes i am what is this yes i am what oh god i know this yes i am pink and then the other one is yes i am I'm so sorry. This must be frustrating. Isn't from... that pink because the top's pink? Yeah, I think this is Yes, I Am Pink. And then <laughs> the Yes, I Am Fabulous, I think. And then the, the regular Yes, I Am, which I've used the heck out of. And Mima likes this a lot, so she hammers that one. And then we have Mark Jacobs' Decadence right there at the back. And then we have Ghost, the mini. This is the one that kind of smells like Carolina Herrera, but it's got a lot of caramel in it. And then we have Deep Night. Uh, ghost deep night oh it's it's the name is not showing it's supposed to be like that okay so this is ghost deep night i have a mini of this it's somewhere in the house because it came as a set 
okay and then we did say we talk about this to right? section number three guys these i would actually say are my signature scents right here i'm a sucker for galane if you know me i am obsessed with galane mon galane especially the intense one um this little bottle here is at this level uh because like i said earlier when i get to a certain point with my fragrances i just don't use them anymore and i kept this as a reference point uh, but then i bought another one so i can always maybe finish this one and then leave a little bit in this and then i've got the little baby here uh, but this is not mongolian the original this is actually the floral if i'm not mistaken and then this i am obsessed with this is the edt but it's been discontinued guys if you know this is uh getting a little harder to find but you can still pick it up maybe from ebay if you are entirely obsessed with it then uh, this is my ysl lib it does have a little baby somewhere uh this is my jo malone elder flower and gooseberry belder freak another one that i would absolutely recommend if you want to start a uh, fragrance collection and you were wondering which ones to add this is a beautiful simple floral that you can you know reach for anytime easy to wear and then i have my dealy there uh, I don't think I'll repurchase this after it's done. Then I've got my Shalima there, guys. And then I have uh, my other Jo Malone. I have my Santal 33, Cartier right there, uh, Chanel Wilson Chabot, my 1957. I'm completely obsessed with this one. 1957, this one feels a lot like Chanel number no. five, but it's a more. I don't know, I'm going to say more wearable, you know, version. And uh, we managed to open uh, this one so that I don't have the same problem I did experience with the Keali. Okay, this is a soap. Uh, but let me tell you this quick thing about uh, the uh, Chanel soaps, guys. Soaps, guys, smell so, so good you need this once you start using these uh chanel soaps you will probably agree with me that uh, these are a must-have they're not exactly on the affordable side if i must say but they're not too expensive so this is a great stepping stone as well into say pampering yourself if you want luxury these i think are about 35 bucks or something they're about uh, from uh, chanel directly so i just opened this so that it doesn't get, uh, hustle me up like i had you know to do with the keali okay so that's it for the pot that is on the tray and then i've got my mimo mafa there i have my rain de Nui, another one that i absolutely love uh but this one is uh, probably a this one is a fragrance maybe that you might want to uh test before you buy i have my amouage interlude woman and then the tom fords there rose prick lost cherry bitter peach and uh, tobacco vanilla so that is it for this section guys so on this section guys so we've got the uh, splendor by elizabeth uh, arden jovan mas my two montaus f casili rose pre uh, the delina uh, this is the only zerjof i have guys right and then we have this bella vita rosa and then we have terracotta uh, michael cause Jimmy Chu Fever, Sarah Jessica Packer's Stash. Uh, the, 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 the bow undid itself and I had to re stick this one. One day, you know, while I was opening the cap, just went, oh, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wine as well uh, and then we have the Louboutins okay I have three of the Louboutins what I'm going to do with my minis because I did notice that I have over a hundred minis is I'm going to dedicate a separate video just for the minis so let's just leave the minis as long as you can see them here then we have Intimately Beckham I've tucked in a couple of minis here as well as you can see and there's more right there and then this is my Celine Dion okay this was my staple trouble size fragrance you know just to spritz um i love this but i haven't used this particular one in a long time i, I remember buying these i think they were like uh, 10 i bought them at the same time and i just used to throw them in the in the you know in my travel 
back it smell smells purple it's like a violet or whatever the flower there and then this is a dupe okay uh d squared to one ariana grande's a cloud okay this is nice my mom loves that one she's smiling and then um what's her name d oh you no, mean uh, gaga. gaga gaga okay and then Ooh, what's this 007 yeah 007 women whatever is it no women three is this one look at how tight the space is guys so this is women three this is the orange one i don't know what this one is called what is the name of this one it's now make me curious what's the name of this girl here i bought this one and i never quite used it okay whatever it is it must be summer because it's it's orange um diva diva and then let's go to this we have what's her name hot, Got hot couture okay this is another one uh, that's i'm um, just gonna corroborate my story that i always leave my fragrances at this level so this i haven't used in years i'm not gonna use this is just gonna be for reference sake and it still smells the same and i'm gonna say it today for the very first time this is from g von chi because i always say Givenchy, and then everybody comes on the comment section. No, it's not Givenchy, it's Givenchy. And I remember somebody actually spelling it for me Givenchy. Okay, and then this is uh, Le Petit Robe Noir. Okay, and then everybody needs this. This everybody <laughs> needs a black opium, and then what's her name? Mm. Modern Muse La Rouge by Esther Lauder. Another one that I'll probably not use because it's right there at the mark where it's done. We have Obsession right there. This one's got a baby. I'm going to show you her baby. She came with a little baby. <laughs> and then and then we have uh, Privé. Okay, so you have Privé. And then we have montpori intensamar this is a huge dent this is another one i'll probably not use in a very long time because i did wear the heck out of that okay and this is the baby i said okay um you look, huh? yeah i said uh the lip has got a baby so that's her that's the daughter and then we have jorda Meurs, okay and uh, we have another Hermes. This is Erdem Veils. Um, okay, we'll just run through the minis. Cartier, 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 Twili. Uh, because I said I'm going to bring a minis, uh, a minis, uh, what you call, fragrance collection. And then we have my uh, Maison Francis Kirchan, uh, Baccarat Rouge x -rayed. And then we have Elisab right there at the corner. Right there, that's Elisab. And then we have Fendi. Okay, this is Fendi, not Fenty. This is Fendi. And then we have this one. It's um, Lavelle. Okay, this is the mini. And then we have uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And then we have the Baby Obsession. It's got a little bit of a dent there, right? As opposed to the big one, because this is the one I actually used. Well, the third row, okay, but section number five, let's put it that way. This is gonna be tricky for my mud. Do you think you can, oh, you're kneeling. Okay, that's better. Because I was about to say, oh my God, this, this is even hard for me. So we have those three musketeers there, three musketeers, three musketeers, threes. Okay, so this is a complete range. Sophia, Wazia, and I can't remember the other one. This one, okay. Uh, by Latafa. Iman, Haya, and Sakina. Uh, this is Anna Abied, uh, the white one. And then Anna Abied, Leda, okay. And then Anna Abied, Rouge. Okay, this is what I'm trying to avoid now. And then Anna Abied, uh, what was this one? Oh, Poudre. Okay, so that's it for those four. And then we have uh, Yara Moa, the regular Yara, and then Yara Chus. And then we have these two guys. I've been waiting for the white one, Oud for Glory Honor. And I don't know when he's going to show up because I, I'm just waiting. I have ordered mine. It's coming from Dubai. But for some reason, the person who was supposed to come with it forgot it. And I'm going to have to wait until they come back again. It's not yet in stock 
locally so it's coming the oud for glory the honor but for now i've got sublime and i've got very al oud amethyst i had the regular one i decluttered it because it was just doing too much it was too smoky for me we have sondos uh and then we have uh this is actually sitting on a tray so i don't want to break the tray what's her name Entefakhat, yes, and then we have this one. I think this one. Some silver. And some silver. Thank you. At least you can see. See, I can't see nothing. One lost Elizabeth Taylor there because she couldn't fit in with the other ones. It was just too crowded there. There was no space actually. The little gap that was left, she couldn't fit there. So I had to put her here. And then we have Mahajan gold, Mahajan silver. This is all the taffa guys. We have. Aziza we have these two one is a mask one is not look I don't know why they're actually facing the other way it's Raul no it's Raul Al Raul mask what does that one say Moha. Moha okay Moha the regular one Moha Silky Rose Al Ausav uh, Sir Almulika. We have camera. This one is the one that smells like uh, Rose Creek. A bun. 24 karat pure coal, 999.9. .9. And then we have this range. Okay, I have all of them. I have the Oud Mood Mask, the Oud Mood, Oud Mood Elixir, and Oud. No, Oud Mood Mask, Oud Mood, Oud Mood Reminiscent, and Elixir. And then, of course, we have the hidden ones there. It's another Latafa Pride hidden right there. Uh, this one is the Sapphire, okay? It's a red Sapphire. And then um, um, Mahia, Legacy, and Sondos. So that's it for this part. We're going to move over to shelf number six, right? Uh, I've got my two, um, four amafs, um, actually. Club de Noe Women in Tens. The regular Club de Noe. We have Italiana Donna yeah and then otse om and then we've got my ajmal there we've got the afnan Ray tiffany uh Atta collection halter knight the three musketeers here the trinity okay um eternal meadows eternal coffee and eternal mask and then we have uh this no, it doesn't look like amosh but it's not it's a, a brush they call it a brush a brush carmine yeah you see, Mini Me, Mini Me needs her channel. Honestly, she's into fragrances just like myself. I created a monster here. Uh -huh. uh, Fire Your Desire, Phonetic Delicious, Patchouli Number uh, Seven, uh, Jasmine uh, Noir. This is from Paris Corner. That's Paris Corner as well. That's Paris Corner as well. Add our Zafran's Wafa. The two twins here. Uh, this one is uh, Kahila Platinum and Kahila Lux by Paris Corner. And then we have this Lost Latafa that is in a brass. I don't know what she's doing here, but she's there. And then we have Cocktail Intense. Uh, the one I've used the most is this one, guys, and it smells a lot like Angel's Shape. Um, and then we have the Capsule, right? And this one uh, is Sato. And then we have this one. What does it say? Vox Spices. And then a Vibrant Orange and Neroli. Use the heck out of this. Mima's favorite at the moment, Tassine. Mm -hmm. This is by Paris Corner. She wants me to review this one so badly. Yet, she's always locking it in her room. But we move. And then, uh, Rachba. Okay. I'm not going to use this anymore not that there's anything wrong with it but like i said i don't use all my you have a lot of baby yeah i do have the baby i want to show them it's i don't know where it is but it's there she's mm -hmm. still alive isn't she <laughs> she's got to be alive where is she where is she where is my... oh i'm gonna look for it guys we've got a little teeny weeny rugby baby okay um and then we have um glacia belly okay this is by maison alhambra and then we have this one, which I love the most. And I do have two backups. So this mask, Neil by Maison Alhambra. This mask, I don't care for, but it's there. It's by Maison Alhambra as well. 
uh, this is uh, one I added to my collection some three months ago. Suede Intense. And then we have So Candid. But uh, this one lacks in performance. So if you want a strong perfume, I wouldn't killer recommend oud. this. I would recommend this one instead. No, this one's not Killer Oud. It has the same cap. Yeah, it's got the same cap. It kind of looks the same. But this one's alive now. Okay. Okay. Um, oops. Sorry, guys. Sorry if there was a thud. It's not a catastrophe. Everything is okay. It's just me dropping the bottle. And then there is Kismet for men and Kismet for women. Okay, this is all Maison Alhambra. And then Ad Azafran. This is the mask that uh, proved me wrong. It has macerated a very thick mask and I love it. So that's it, guys, for section number six. And we're going to get to the seven. Yeah. So here we have Jezab Gold by Ad Azafran. Okay, this one. And then we have this. I love this, guys. I love this one. You know the name of this one. What is it? I don't know. You've forgotten the name. Um, what's the name of this one, by the way? It kind of looks like, I don't know. It's matcha. Matcha wood. Matcha okay. wood. Matcha okay. wood. Okay. And uh, then we have this one, uh, which is a... God, I hate velvet. Yeah. It's velvet wood, right? No, it's not. It's the fire. It's but it's strong. I know why you hate it. It's just too heavy. Oh, this is hell velvet oud. Yeah, if that's, yeah velvet this is oud, yeah. yeah. This is. It's a nah. It's a nah. It's a nah. It's a nah. And then, <laughs> and then we have our Tanya Kasusi. It's at that level where we're just gonna keep it as a souvenir. Um. It's okay. I, I, I wasn't too impressed with it. It was too strong for me at the beginning, but then ended up using it a lot. Astaf, um, Princess of Arabia. This is very popular for a reason. This particular one. This one. And then Monster Perfumes. This one is the one I was trying to be like um, Moses Vanille, and it's succeeding at it, so it's not a bad one. Um, this, I'm not going to use that much. This one. But it's there, this one. Why are all my fragrances facing the wrong way? Shalima Oud. Okay, this is from Ad Al Zafran, but it's a wannabe velvet oud. So, don't know why they do that sometimes. And then we have these two. Okay, let me just... Oh, oh my God, my hand. Um, Lotre Musk and Lotre Oud, right? And then we have these. These were gifted to me. These two by Perfumery. These three, rather, by Perfumery 101. This, this, and this. Okay. And then we have Hot Rums Gold. And then I'm gonna put this one back. Which I had taken from the other side. This is Latafa Rolat. Latafa. Okay. And then we have this one. Very good fragrance. This one, guys. Aura. Okay, and then we have this one, Khalad by Latafa. Hiba, right? This is more or less finished. Fragrance World, Optimistic Her. This one, which is Nasheed. God, you said it's called No What? Nasheed. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't swear. That's no, I that, that, thought you said something. <laughs> Fanan by Orientica. Uh, guys, this fragrance by Ad Azafran, I don't know why they discontinued this. This is a beautiful fragrance. Uh, this one is 24 hours, but it's for women. Um, Mukalat, 24 hours. I love this fragrance. But I, when I spoke about it or in the review, everybody said, ask, the, everybody asked me where I got it from. And unfortunately, I cannot refer them to any place because it looks like it's been discontinued, this one. But it's a nice fragrance. Diwanya by Lemuse. This is um, Lemuse as well. Rich Lady. Sheikh Al Shayuk. Deluxe Edition. Uh, Hanin. Why do you hate the, sock? Al, what do you hate the sock? The color. I hate the color of this sock. But I love the color of this sock. Yeah. Do you like a, the black color itself on yeah. the socks? So. Yeah. Yeah, but I use this Hanin. Uh, Hanin a lot. I love this one. It's, it's a nice fragrance. Da Al Hanin, but I still like that sock. Oud 24 hours. My hands are killing me. 
24 hour uh, no is it yeah Ud 24 hours and then this is tara by latafa and then this is uh this is just a random accessorize so, yeah accessorize got it from i think it was boots or something this is the yeah yeah this i love ultra citrus opulent musk okay by the tafa this is double black elitious white kind of sandalax edition the purple one i don't care much about we have aldo al mcnoon this i love and it's almost finished um verve convict luna by the fate so that's it for this part which is shelf number seven now welcome to section number eight here i tried guys really tried to just make it about fragrance world but my collection is bursting out of the seams and i had to add other ones so this is all fragrance world here as you can see um there you are <laughs> yeah anyway we were looking for her so we found her that is the rugba one okay the rugba mini so yeah that is all fragrance world guys fragrance world again here uh the, 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 Shalina. yeah <laughs> this is another one pink fame this is jade booty again here controversial and then uh we have the barahat yeah barahat and then we have uh kadlaj it's like a smoky pi uh, pineapple woods whatever but it's nice i like this one and then this is a latafa again let's take this one off okay that is latafa to wheel and then there's paris corner here phenomenal quatorze and then we have amir al oud in cans let's take this one off so you can see that's amir al oud in cans right there Shabby right there. We were Charlie by Paris Corner right there. This one is a Forbidden Sugar by Paris Corner right there. And then this is the one I took off, Lavish Blush by La Fade. And then this is the one you were saying. Killer Queen. Yeah, Killer Oud. Killer Oud. Yeah, oh, Killer Oud. God. It's got the same cap as the other one you were talking about. Yes. And then Mima's favorite. Let's take this one out. Oh my god, yeah. Bella Dolce. Yeah. Oh, Dolce or Dolce? Dolce. Oh, it's the same. Bella thing. Dolce. Yes, the apple is. Yes, I love this one, but it's another one that was released and then discontinued almost the same day. I don't know why, because <laughs> nobody can find this. No, they have uh, the other one, right? The one you have. Yeah. So many bottles of these. Yeah. And then there's this one. This one's all, all, all finished as well. Rouge Intense, Rouge Addiction. And then we have this. This is also an Amaf. Okay. Georgian's the Lion Heart. So we have that one. And then we have Kalta Royal Blends by Latafa. And the little exclamation. I just had to buy it because it was one of the fragrances I used to use in high school. Now we move over to the last part, guys, and then we'll be done. So please do remember to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do remember to subscribe, guys. Remember to subscribe, like, follow all the nice stuff. So. On this section, I have put... Orientica? Yeah. Orientica, but it's more or less like the minis of Orientica. Let me just show you how the bottles look like. I didn't want to take them out because, you know, I didn't want them to to fall and stuff. So we're going to just use the two as an example right there. It's a collection I bought specifically for reviewing, but it does have a couple of gems. And if you want to know more about these ones, you can go in my videos. You will find the one video where I dedicated a review of all of these so these are from orientica guys they are 30 mls okay we have i think 12 here and then these are the latafa pride uh, 20 ml samples i 
had this for the longest time and i was wondering what i should you know use it for because if i put like my earrings there or my cosmetics or little bits and bobs or keys or stuff i totally forget about it so i just one day thought oh let me just put these samples i think it'll make a good holder the only problem now is it doesn't close but it does contain all of the latafa pride samples that i have within my collection and there's plenty guys as you can see there i don't know everything today is choosing to face the other way imagine you know everything for some reason is facing the other way All right so these are the latafa pride ones and we have a full review of the latafa pride ones singular reviews and then we have these two bottles now let me say this quickly i'm not gonna rant i'm gonna try to be very nice um this one's from latafa okay this is pure udi and this one is from i think it's adal zafran or something if it's not adal zafran it's another let me just make sure I say Al Rashidia. Guess what, guys? The atomizers for these stopped working. And what do they have in common? Guess. Oud. Spot the difference. What do they have in common? They have the, the what things, sticks, whatever, <laughs> whatever the, the trees that they decided to put in here. Now, let me show you what I mean by the, you know, the fact that they both malfunctioned. So we don't need these, but I had to put them look <laughs> can you see what do you call it now works i i can oh okay 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 this you know, was you know, totally not now. exactly <laughs> it was totally hand on heart but that doesn't not work. working i am 100 sure that it doesn't. was doing this this here was doing that it wasn't working uh but oh God, i don't know i don't know latafa i honestly don't know because now i'm about to tell people you know to use these up as quickly as possible or uh, it's up to them to buy the ones that have these kind of style of you know juice with the sticks in them or the oud in them and then now you decide to work and make a fool on me i'm so i tried this for well, the longest did you even time like the fragrance i the did fragrance. like it i know it's too much for you right yeah it sorry is. yeah i tried and i was so disappointed and so mad and then i put it away and then uh, you know and I, I did give it a good try i think it was like a week or something trying to work this atomizer out and then i thought okay while i was putting the um, uh, the fragrances together for me to bring the collection i said i'm gonna bring these ones and just tell you guys that if you're gonna purchase these ones use them in time because they tend to get blocked there where the atomizer stops to work and then this one all of a sudden starts working so when anyway you get off camera is gonna stop working. it's gonna stop i know i know for <laughs> sure but anyway that is it for those two and then we have uh her jean athies i think i've got three of the jean athies and then we have these here because the, the it's just an overflow guys uh, these are the avons in my life okay so avon and avon is closing down this year for good so these i'm just gonna keep as souvenirs i don't wear these ones anymore but just keeping them because avon once was okay and then we have um it's very dusty here oh, avon avon made playboy no no what's Play that is it vip this one is from playboy guys oh, okay. don't mind the dust you see this one it's quite this one is a soft one so this, this is, is gonna cancel out that ooh. yeah oh. i know you don't like ooh. um this headache i don't care much for it's a rose but it's so rosing this one and i don't like it for that reason because it's just too much of a rose this one has gotten it's finished okay so we have that uh, oh yeah and as for the avons we have the original not the original but the very popular uh far away but this one is the infinity this is not the og this one if you can't do the og this one might actually work for you because this one's find it anymore. <laughs> they'll have to buy it on ebay <laughs> and then this is um orisimat by ted lapidus got that one from my sister as a gift luck la v is it yeah, Lac La Vie by Avon and then Mesmerize. And then in here is my Mew Mew oil. It's the actual Mew Mew oil. And then we have this stash here, oh which is God. 
level we my emma doesn't like that anymore she was crazy she's the one who actually put a dent on it like this but she just doesn't care for it anymore my other jean athies right there sultan noir does it have a turd on the on the cap no it's not a well, i don't know it's it's like you know when you put cream on top of something oh okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> you were not thinking of that way <laughs> You are so not thinking of cream. <laughs> anyway, we move. Um, Privé, Rose de Privé, F.A. Paris. Um, nice. Taste of Kiss. Uh, this one is, uh, is it's also finished. Uh, Prime Milestone, another one that's finished. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't know the hair was, the hair was hearing. Um, and then we have Far Away. Oops. Far Away. This one by Azdaf Gaid, Le Nui Pandora. And then we have this one. Who did this one? The fragrance well. Maison Alhambra. Mm, oh. The Chant. The Chant. Okay. And then we have Far Away. This is very popular in the Middle East, but I don't seem to see this one around a lot. This particular i think i'm the only one that's been talking about it so i stopped because every time i talk about it people don't know where to find it this far away very nice perfume but not very accessible and then we have this one by latafa what does it say muna okay and then we have the samples we're not going to get into that confidential private gold then the samples and then we have these ones i think we missed these samples show them there okay so we have these samples which we're gonna bring some other time guys because i think we can stop right there because if i get into the if i get into the samples then the video will take an eternity but otherwise that's it guys that's it this is my perfume collection this is excessive guys nobody needs this much perfume a lot of perfume that you're not even going to use in a lifetime however i have a collection like this because i'm a fragrance reviewer i'm just conscientizing you know anyone out there who just wants to have an excessive amount of perfume um without uh thinking about how much it would knock your pocket please do uh take note that i have this much because i'm a fragrance reviewer and for those who always ask me about the performance of perfumes let me answer this one quickly if you have this much perfumes if you spray the perfume like this let me just show you quickly if you spray the perfume i'm trying to make sure i don't spray mine if you spray it like one two three it's gonna go nowhere in terms of performance in terms of you know you getting a good use of your fragrance collection now as a collector this is how i spray let me just show you let me show you let me show you with this one i know why i'm saying so i want to buy a backup of that so i don't want to waste that let me show you with this one if you're a fragrance collector right like myself and you want to make sure you get great use uh from your collection you spray one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then 40 50 80 20 30 50 60 70 80 100 and 50 and 55 and 80 and 85 and 200 that is how you spray guys i'm telling you this legit because if you have a collection like this and you spray one, two, one armpit, next armpit, um, you know, pulse points and stuff. All these will go bad. So what I do is I over spray uh, because one, I have too many of them. Two, I want them over and done with. The ones that I server are the ones that are pricey. So for those people that always come and ask, um, you know, is this particular fragrance long lasting? Do take note guys the way you spray it also has a bearing on longevity if you overspray any perfume will last 
Uh, but of course, there are some profiles that you can't overspray because they're too strong. So that's it, guys. That is what I had for you. That is my perfume collection. Hopefully, I'll be able to edit this video and get it to you in time. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. And let's meet in the next one. The next one is going to be about fragrance reviews as usual. And then I'm going to drop one uh, on my minis then maybe the oils and then that will be a wrap in as far as collections are concerned c chronicles is my name guys thank you so much for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we obviously discuss more about fragrances i'm already sweating i am already sweating this was a lot guys let's meet in the comment section where we discuss more about fragrances like share comment turn on post notifications all the nice stuff and remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one no smelling good is a form of good manners today. And remember. <clears throat> and remember, the smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers, guys.